video we are going to see one advanced automation rule which adds a comment to the issue if the due date is breached and the issue is 24 hours overdue so here due date means that the issue has to be completed or has to be closed within the due date so for example we are in first project okay this is a software project and the type of the project is company managed project and the issue type is bug and see here we have the due date field and the due date is november 4th 2022 11 am so actually the today's date while recording this video is november 5th so that the due date is breached and it is exactly 24 hours overdue in that case the automation rule has to add a comment immediately okay in that comment it has to mention the name of the assignee and the reporter thereby they will get email notification and they will come into an action okay to close this issue so to do that we have to create a automation rule so to add an automation rule we have to go to project settings and click on automation and click on automation so then we have to create a rule so click on create rule and here we need to select a trigger point actually here there is no manual trigger here so the automation has to run like uh, uh, for every 30 minutes or every one hour so like that we need to give a schedule okay to jira so for that we have to select a trigger that is schedule so see here ru run rule every one week or every one one hour or every one day or every one month so like that you can run the rule but if you click on one minute see here the jira automatically takes it as a five minutes so that means that so this is the minimum time frame okay in case of minutes so but my recommendation is better to choose 30 minutes okay so if you choose five minutes what happens is you know sometimes jira automation may fail to work okay so we have to allow uh, uh, the jira to take some time to execute the rule so the best possible time is 30 minutes okay so uh, then uh, you know uh, there could be uh, no fail in the automation rule execution actually if you uh, choose uh, the, this time as slow as possible because you know thereby you can get a accuracy in the automation otherwise you know um, the automation rule accuracy will decrease but we have limitation we cannot go you know um, uh, we cannot go uh, you know like uh, 25 20 minutes also it's, not, it's also not a good option for us okay as in my experience uh, 30 minutes is a good option okay some people uh, choose one hour uh, as uh, uh, the uh, time but uh, i'll recommend you 30 minutes okay so here you can check this uh, run a jql search then you will have an option to enter jql so in this example my uh, intention is only uh, to fetch uh, records of bug issue types so uh, issue type equal to bug okay so this is the jql i am giving to this automation tool so you, you can click on this validate query so yeah it is uh, one issue found therefore this automation uh, this uh, jql is correct okay so now see here only include issues that have changed since the last time this rule executed it is better to uncheck this otherwise uh, this automation rule tries to you know uh, find the issues where uh, the issue is updated within last 30 minutes otherwise it will not fetch the details of uh, issues therefore you just uncheck this and save this uh, uh, trigger thereafter you need to give the condition so here you you choose the issue field condition and here you have to choose the due date okay you have to choose the due date and condition see here here we have number of options like is before is after equals doesn't equal okay you can play around this 
uh, all these options okay after watching uh, this video so for this case i am choosing is before and i am choosing time frame and my time frame is one day ago because i need to add the comment okay after 24 hours or due okay so therefore due date is before one day ago so here there could be a confusion for you while uh, adding this condition so to avoid that confusion you can read uh, the statement uh, so this statement uh, is the <clears throat> meaning of what you are adding as a condition see here this condition will check that the due date field is before one day before the time that the rule is run so what is saying that suppose if the rule is running yet now so it will check uh, uh, the issues where the due date is one day before okay so so this is this matches our use case so i am saving this due date is before one day ago now i am giving the action so here the action is comment on issue okay so here you can add the comment as something uh, like this so actually uh, you know there are uh, smart values for uh, signee and uh, a reporter you can check this uh, this document in on the online so if you check for signee see here see this is the smart value to display the assignee name but actually there is uh, a difference between displaying the name and mentioning the name so if jira mentions the name in the comment then the uh, then the person will receive the notification for it okay if jira displays the name in the comment then the recipient and then that person will not get the notification okay keep in mind that so therefore we cannot use this as a smart value to mention the assignee and suppose uh, if you come down you can see the reporter also see uh, this is the smart value for the reporter okay if you want to display the name okay but here we don't want to display the name we want to mention the name in the comment okay thereby uh, the assignee and reporter will get notifications so see here this is the see this is the smart value to mention the name of the assignee and this is the smart value to mention the name of the uh, reporter okay so here uh, just I am replacing this with a due date. Uh, due date was breached for this ticket. So this bug is 24 hours overdue. Please take action. So therefore, so uh, this uh, is the uh, you know sample template of the comment. So you can use this uh, template if you want it. So therefore, I can add this uh, template into the uh, description of this video. Okay. So, uh, and if you come down, see, this is the most important option. Okay, prevent duplicates by only adding this comment once to a particular issue. Actually, this is very, very important um, option. You must check this option. Otherwise, there is a mess in the uh, inbox of the recipients. See, suppose, for example, the problem is, suppose I am unchecking this and I am saving, and if I publish this rule, what happens is, first of all, uh, Jira uh, tries to find the issues, you know, where the due date is breached. So uh, uh, what happens is, uh, first of all, suppose, for example, if the rule runs now, uh, it will fetch an issue, okay, and it adds a comment to it. And after 30 minutes also, the rule again runs, okay. So within 30 minutes, if that issue is not resolved, again, this automation rule adds a comment again the SNE and reporter will get a notification okay this process will continue us until the issue uh, resolves so therefore uh, you must prevent this okay so then this automation rule adds the comment only once to an issue okay so after 30 minutes if that issue is also comes okay into the uh, um, uh, into this automation rules criteria even though uh, the automation rule doesn't add you know comment again because we are checking this okay this prevents uh, duplication um, uh, of comment okay now we have one more option comment visibility so you can uh, you know you can restrict this comment visibility by adding a group 
uh, here if you don't want to add a group and if you want to you know uh, allow the people to see everyone to see therefore you can choose as a public comment and save this rule okay so now uh, uh, the you know the rule uh, has been completed so you can name the rule just you can name the rule automation to mention automation to send uh, email so when 24 hours or do something like that. you just give a name a suitable name so that you can understand it later onwards uh, okay uh, and you just uh, turn it on yes yeah so yes uh, see, see here yeah you just uh, see from top to down it, it looks uh, you know it is something like a statement see when scheduled every 30 minutes so every 30 minutes the rule uh, will run and uh, due date is before one day ago then add a comment to an issue okay yes thank you